して、えー、ユーズスリッププレイこのスリップです。To your bowl or your soccer bottle. So let's get started. First, you choose between white or brown clay. I chose brown clay here. The clay kneading requires a precise process. You can see here that I knead the clay from top to bottom at equal intervals so that a shell like shape is created. This was somehow difficult for all of us in the beginning. However, kneading is an important step. Because you don't want air bubbles in the clay, that makes the clay burst in the oven later. Your clay is now ready for further processing. Form an even conical mass and center it on the wheel. Use a lot of water to make it slippery. Set the wheel in motion. If the mass is not centered yet, press it away from you with even pressure on the right palm. Use your left hand as a support. Don't worry, it takes some practice. Let patience be your friend. Now that you have centered your clay, you can finally go shaping an object. Here I show you a simpler bowl shape. First, you want to determine the amount you need for your object. For this, you press both middle fingers where you later separate the object from the clay cone. Then, you press with your left thumb a hole in the middle. Use enough water to make it slippery. Then, you squeeze your thumb flat down at 8 o'clock. Then you pull up the clay, so to speak, using your left thumb from the inside and outside, index, middle, and ring finger. Use your right hand as a support. Then use both middle fingers from the outside and inside to raise the mold, widen it, or smooth the surface. Press again where you want to separate the object from the cone. Unfortunately, I didn't do that properly in that example. Besides bowl, you can powder all kinds of objects. In Japan, of course, the sake bottle is very popular. Our ceramics teacher always provided support when we needed help. Now that your potted objects have dried for a few days, you can start trimming. For this, you need several tools. Small irregularities will be fixed and the base will be formed. You can then decorate your objects according to your taste. But you can also leave this step out. The objects are going to be fired after the color has dried. After the firing process in the oven follows the glazing part. Glazes can be applied with a brush or the entire piece can be carefully dipped into a glaze bath. Glazes often require multiple coats and a lot of patience to get them just right. This is how some of my pieces came out. In the end, we wrap them into newspaper and make them ready to ship. I'm very happy to share this experience with you and I hope you got an idea about how to process from just clay to a very useful, unique and beautiful vessel. I'm glad to hear if this has maybe inspired you to do something on your own. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. 